Hello and welcome to Bread of Life. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Oral Blackstock of Hartford. Thank you for joining me. Oral Blackstock from First Church of God Hartford here with you. During this week, we are resourcing selected teachings from the Wisdom Book of Proverbs, written by one of Israel's kings who asked God for wisdom, King Solomon. We continue today with another of possibly several questions that we'll be using this week. And here it goes. With what kinds or types of people do you hang out? In the comedy Shark Tale, Oscar lied his way to become the popular shark slayer and secured his envied position at the top of the reef. Lenny, the shark at the top of the food chain, willingly adjusted his appearance and began a relationship with Oscar, his accomplice from the bottom of the food chain. This unusual friendship gradually revealed painful realities and eventually glaring truths. Oscar was pretending to be who he was not, and even though he was in the news and on television, he knew he was the great pretender. Lenny the shark was trying to downsize and to fit in as a dolphin and convincingly doing an excellent job. Things are not always what they appear to be. In the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 13, 20, we read, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. The English Standard Version presented it this way, Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companions of fools will suffer harm. Adam Clark states, To walk with a person implies love and attachment, and it is impossible not to imitate those we love. There is a popular saying, Show me the, his company, and I'll tell you the man. Let me know the company he keeps, and I will easily guess his moral character. You and I are being reminded that we will be influenced by the people in whose company we spend time. If we walk or spend time with individuals who are wise, we will be exposed to an influence by their wisdom. One of my closest friends is from Puerto Rico. Over the years of our friendship, I was schooled in speaking Spanish and developed a greater understanding and appreciation for the language. I learned about Spanish food, music, celebration, and beliefs. Over time, we both enlarged our cultural awareness of each other. You could say we absorbed each other's culture. Today, as parents, you and I are cautious about the friends that our children select. During the preteen years of our children's development, I was eager to find out about their friends. It was not just refreshing enough to hear how awesome their friends were. I wanted to meet them, to confirm the testimonies that I was hearing about them. I got to understand the reason my parents were so cautious as to the company I was selecting to be a part of while in school. The Word of God wants to guide us even in our social selection. He that is wise with wise men will be wise. He that walketh with wise men will be wise, but a companion of fools will be destroyed. Influence our lives are not merely now, but will reach all the way to the legacy we pass on to our children. The choices that we make today, the character that we develop, will influence the way of life we pass on to our children. We also need to behave wisely so that those who get to know us will positively be rewarded from the association. The second part of that is that he that walketh with wise men will be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed as just as important. Fools are seen to those who act unwisely or recklessly. If we walk or make our main base individuals who have behaved recklessly, we will be destroyed. You and I are applying wisdom when we exercise care in the selection of those we call our friends. Select and become a part of those who are wise, and we will become wise. But if we select and become a part of those who are reckless, we will become reckless. As this popular saying goes, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Until tomorrow at the same time, this is Oral Blackstock saying, use wisdom in deciding who you hang out with. You've been listening to Pastor Oral Blackstock of Hartford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.